to my Tokyo Marathon training vlog. This is my week one recap. So the first week of training wasn't really supposed to be intense. It was just more focused on speed, mileage, putting in more workouts per week. And to be honest, I think it went well. I ran seven days per week. I had a few easy runs that were about 7.30 to 6.50 pace maximum, and they were about 7 to 11 miles. The pace could go down just a little bit. Maybe I can push into the eight minute per mile margin, but I was just going by feel and 650s felt okay on some days. So I had two tempo runs this week. Both were six by six minutes, uh, just varying pace and rest time. First one was six by six at 620 pace with two minute rest in between sets. And the other one was 640 with 30 seconds in between rests. 640 with 30 seconds in between rests was quite intense. My last run of the week was a long run at about 16 miles and I did it about an hour 45, hour 50 minutes. Christmas Eve was a little different. Instead of running the entire day, I decided to have a cross train day where I ran a 5K that morning, went to work, and then after work, I decided to go on a pretty short bike ride. Christmas day, I ran a 10 mile easy run and we easily had the best weather, I think, of any Christmas I remember in my life here in Chicago. And Christmas Day basically ended my training week. What I've learned in the past is that Christmas and New Year's time is pretty rough when it comes to putting in miles because there's a lot of traveling, there's a lot of family plans. Sometimes you're just knee deep into your off season, but I'm trying to keep myself accountable to making sure I am capping at those 70 to 75 miles per week, otherwise, I do feel like I'm gonna pay for it when I go to Tokyo. Speaking of which, I will get my hotels and flights booked for Tokyo ASAP, preferably before 2020 begins. So I do have some small announcements, one of them being that, unless you follow me on Facebook or Instagram, I did qualify for the Chicago Marathon in 2020, which is great news, I'm excited to run it. I didn't realize that you can qualify or that you're given a guaranteed entry if you've ran the Shamrock Shuffle four or more times in the past. So that's how I got my qualification. And now I basically know what's happening pretty much after Tokyo, what's gonna happen at the start of the summer. Pretty excited about this. Definitely look forward to that. I will have that vlog started probably after this one. And lastly, uh, I still haven't picked my 70.3 or triathlons for 2020. I am still eyeballing the Chicago triathlon. There's a little bit more going on with that one which is going to require a little bit more foresight before signing up. We'll talk about that a little bit more later. But I am still looking at a 70.3 that I want to run. I do have a bone to pick with 70.3 Madison. I did that one last year. Uh, I'll explain that more as we go along. So if you have any 70.3 Ironman races or triathlons that you'd like to recommend to me, comment them below. I will take your suggestions very seriously because I do want to start finalizing this race block moving into the summertime. So that's all I've got for now. By the time this video comes out, it's going to be probably after Christmas before New Year's. So happy holidays from me. Like and subscribe to this channel and I will see you guys later. Thanks for watching. You